Ironic, Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. what's going on we are back again let's go ahead and get into it a little bit of a late shift but you know how it goes the games keep rocking and rolling and we have ourselves an eastern conference matchup here tonight it's going to be tampa bay at new york eastern conference matchup both of these teams either in a playoff spot or looking to stay in one try to get back in one it's been interesting to see going up to this halfway point both conferences coming into the league um coming into week eight with three different teams at three and four we already seen two uh we already seen two games earlier today we're going to close it out with this one tampa bay is one of those teams and they're going to need to beat new york who's been balling out of their mind i'm not even going to lie to you i'll be here for the remainder of the games this setup here gonna be ready to go in just a little bit um see if my tablet can start up so i can get the sounds a little bit you know how i do but we're gonna get the game started best of luck to both of these teams and we're gonna go ahead and get this one rolling let's do it as we see the kneel down there by the big homie Blake Grant and Tampa Bay is going to start out on offense here led by quarterback James West halfback is going to be the big homie Jason Banks will he look his way yes he will going to hang on to it and then tackled out of bounds there by number 53 aka CA Jr. Jr. CA Jr. two times whatever you want to call it In my opinion a top five linebacker Is they're going to go ahead and stretch it to the left side and he's taken down after a short game going to make third and three coming up Danny Ringer the defensive end coming through with the tackle hope everyone's having a blessed blessed day 
Is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. I get my days confused. It's all good, though. We're going to keep it moving as always. Third and three coming up. Going to be passing it here. Looks right side wide open. Blake, who's going to take it past the 40. And it's going to be first and 10 here for the Typhoon. I know I was discussing um, the camera angles for the upcoming game and after consideration and doing some more tests, I kind of got used to the base one like this. So they'll more than likely be this one going into the next season, even though I do like the other one as that pass is going to be incomplete. Great job by the rookie chance Ravager getting up there and knocking it out of the hands of Blake going to make a second and 10 coming up. I'm still show what they look like, but I think this one might be the best one. Do behind line of scrimmage can't do that. Unfortunately, going to be passing this one looking left side and caught rumbling to the 50 and he's going to get to the 49 yard line. There is one where it does show more of the like down the field, but it's too far away. So I don't want it to be too, too far away where I can't dis uh, distinguish who the players are. So unless they make some more mods for the cameras, that's probably going to be best because we're going to see a handoff and not going to get the first down. There goes Ringa coming through with the tackle. Going to be a fourth and one set. Tampa Bay could go for it in theory, but they may want to see if they could pin New York and see what they could do. The customization I keep on speaking about it is going to be a fun ride. And I have most of it complete. I am on the cleat says we're going to see that one bounce to the five yard line. Great punt there It's going to be first and 10 coming. There's too many cleats to count. I'm pretty sure there's over 250 different cleats to choose from. So y'all are going to have a fun time customizing your peoples as we're going to see a pass looking left side and going to be caught taking a pass the 15. There goes John Aldrezzi, who I believe is leading all wide receivers in uh, reception yards. He's been doing very well. Aaron Knight has been slinging it to him. And don't forget Calvin Nakua, who is also in the top 10. So New, uh, New York definitely has some big, big firepower at all phases of the offensive front. And they're going to try the handoff. No, they're not. They're going to fake it, launch it left side and caught again. Guess who? John Aldrezzi pass of 30. And Tampa Bay doesn't want to let him get loose. Gina to clean a Buckley up in here. What's happening, girl? Hope all is well with you. This New York's trying to turn up a little bit. Only lost one game this season, and honestly, that one loss, it was pretty close. It wasn't like they got blown out or anything like that. It's going to be first and 10 coming. Going to be a delay of the handoff, and he's going to get a couple of yards on that. Second and eight coming up here. Second and eight coming up here. Pistol set. Going to try the ground game again. And once again, Tampa Bay is strong run defense coming into play. Going to be third and eight coming up here for New York. Slay to see up in here what's popping. Yeah, there you go. Lost to Tampa on a fumble on the five yard line with less than a minute ago. They were driving and they were getting close. That was, I remember that was John Eldrezzi with the carry. I don't know how he did it, but there goes the, the running mate, Calvin Nakua, coming up with his first catch of the game, and that's going to put him inside Tampa Bay territory. New York making it look too easy here on this drive so far, at least from the passing side of things.
Gonna be a handoff here, looking to take the corner, and he's gonna get it. Gonna get past the 35, down to the 31 yard line, and there goes off coming through, and he had one of his best games in the USF Bay Madden era. Last week, he's looking to turn up a little bit. Great job there from Wolf Jacobson. In field goal range as of right now. First and 10 coming up. Passing it again. Looking for a man stepping back, launching right side and caught. There goes Nakua. First down play inside the 20. And Aaron Ike is wheeling and dealing here tonight. Bunch at the bottom of your screen, off in the backfield. I believe that's Nakua there at the top. And it's going to be a pass here. Looking for a man launch middle of the field and caught. There goes Aldrezzi. Pass the 10, pass the 5 to the 3. And Aaron Nike is perfect so far on this drive. Taking them inside the 5 yard line. New York making it look way too easy right now. Tampa Bay with no type of resistance. I think their best thing they've done on defense up to this point was a a gain of nothing there for Ulf, but there's going to be a pass here looking for a man. Protection's breaking down, and he's going to get sacked and loses the football, and it's going to be recovered. Talking about fumbles inside the 10, and there goes Evanescence with the recovery, and Tampa Bay is going to pick it up. The great drive goes nowhere. Going to be passing it here. Tampa Bay looking to take advantage. A pass that was almost picked off, and that could have been easily a pick six, but it's going to be second and 10 coming. Second and 10 coming. Going to try the ground game, looking for a hole. Going to find one, and he tried to reach out for it, but a great hit there. By number 38, I believe that's Gunny McGuire. Yes, it is coming through with the tackle. He's going to be third and one coming up. I'm off work tomorrow, but I do have some plans in the middle of the afternoon. So that is where the stream is going to be coming into play, where we're going to go back to YouTube to pre-record. Make sure you watch that game is going to be Anchorage at St. Louis as Tampa Bay is going to keep their drive alive. Finding Elijah Enigma right in the middle. Great route. No scoring yet. First quarter. Two and a half minutes left in the first. And it's going to be a delay of the handoff. Finding a hole. C.A. Jr. Jr. chasing him down, but not before he gets to the 40. Four carries, 21 yards so far for the big homie Banks. Second and two coming. Faking the handoff here. They send a blitz. It doesn't get home, and the pass was well off the mark. That's going to make it third and two coming. Send Kai Coco in motion, trying to find a mismatch. Looking for a man. They send Blitz and oh, it's going to be picked off. Going the other way, it's going to be Josh Hess. The Hess truck is here, and it's going to be first and ten at midfield. New York taking it right back. Going to be a delayed handoff, and the blocking is beautiful. A juke move, another juke move, and there goes oh. Pushing forward, trying to do it again and getting inside the 35 yard line. Wolf Jacobson coming into his frame now. Last thing the league needs to see is a motivated Wolf Jacobson right there. You see the moves. Juking them out the shoes real quick, making it happen. 
Can't wait for y'all to see some of the juke moves in Madden 24. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's pretty sweet. As we're going to see a delay of the handoff. The blitz is going to get home, though. Trying to rip it out was Javon Highland, but he's going to get in the backfield. And a second and 19 coming up. Great defense once again. They send all the uh, all the linebackers at him. <laughs> he was like, nope, we're not going to allow you. Just sit there in the pocket and decipher what we can do. <laughs> second and 19 here. Try not to decipher our uh, defensive uh, front. You know what I'm saying? Looking left side is going to be caught turning up. Getting back to the 36 yard line or so. I didn't say this earlier, but this is a windy ball game here. So, New York, if they do have to kick a field goal, they might have to deal with some wind. We shall see. Third and 12 coming. Shotgun said, but they're gonna go ahead and let the clock rumble, and we'll take it into the end of the second, into uh, the first quarter. Let's go ahead and throw your twos up. Let's go ahead and get into a third and twelve coming up. Steel pads up in here. What's happening? Looking right side and caught. Turn it up. There goes a juke move, and he's gonna rumble forward, reaching for the first. Is Rashad Watson a great effort? Gonna pick up eleven out of the twelve needed. And New York honestly could go for it after that one. I, I say, in my opinion, I will go for it in this situation. But they're going to go ahead and settle for the field goal. Unless they try to do a little, get a little freaky on them. Looks like not. Kick is going to be up. It's pretty high there for Potty Potty, but he knows how to knock it through. New York hits the board first with a three to nothing lead. Looks like New York's going to send this one away. Potty Potty with that big boot. Sending it into the end zone and it's going to be kneeled down again. It's going to be first and 10 coming up here. First and 10 coming up. Passing it again. Spins around and it's going to be a sack. Brady Wilson getting in the backfield. Nice pass rushing skills and also a great job from the secondary giving their D line enough time to ruffle the feathers of West. And the young linebacker gets it done. Nice disengage right there from Wilson. Now, he must have learned that from me when I was in high school. You know what I'm saying? I taught him how to do that. But it's going to be a pass here again. On the look left side, it's going to be caught, but he's going backwards. And it's going to make it third and 15 coming up the first catch of the day there from Coco to get nothing. And New York's like, yeah, you can have those. I don't, <laughs> we can really care about those. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> okay. Going to be passing it here as West, sending everybody deep, launching middle of the field. Going to be caught. There is a flag, but I think it might be on New York. Psych! It wasn't. It was a hold. And they're going to go ahead and decline that penalty. Get that ball right back. And we'll see New York do their thing on offense pretty soon. Got 13 people up in here. Make sure you do that exclamation point USFA. Let me know how you're feeling. What did you eat today? Uh, today I had some Chick-fil-A. Um, at us at the stack special, you know what I'm saying? The spicy chicken sandwich 
with honey mustard and uh, pollen, uh, honey, honey mustard and ketchup. Then they got like the meal, you know what I'm saying? All ready to go. Got the lemonade. Can't you can't go to Chick Fil A and not get the lemonade? I think that's a waste of time getting anything else. Me personally, but that was all I had today. First and ten coming up. And if I'm really feeling spicy, I'll get the chicken, uh, chicken nugs. Uh, to go next to it, you know what I'm saying? But I wasn't feeling that spicy today. As Ulf Jacobson is going to pick up three on the carry. Yeah, 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 yeah. The mac and cheese, yeah. I, I, I could do that too, you know, as an extra side. You know what I'm saying? You could go with the mac and cheese or the chicken nugs, whichever one you're feeling. It's top tier mac and cheese from fast food, my personal opinion. Looking for a man again. Launching right side is going to be caught. Going to pick up the first down is Juice Parish. Going to take it to the 49 yard line. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Popeyes is up there um, with uh, mac and cheese. I'll say those two are my favorites right there. Handoff pushing forward. There goes off. There's a flag on the play. Getting the first down, but I don't think it'll matter. Unfortunate for them. Rashad Watson, after picking up the first down, is going to back him up a little bit. First and 17 coming up. I don't know which other restaurants have mac and cheese fast food wise. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, KFC is decent. But I say it's still below Popeyes and uh, Chick Fil A. As we're gonna see a pass launch middle of the field and a dot. There goes Aldrezzi again. I don't know what has woke him up <laughs> from his slumber, but he's looking like the early favorite for wide receiver of the year for me. First and 10 coming up, New York, a drop back here, but a quick pitch it going to be caught there by Aldrezzi again, who I believe is leading all wide receivers and catches. I believe he's still below Dotson, but regardless of that, he's on pace for 100 catches this season. So if you could keep it going, why not? And we'll have to double check the stats because I don't think a wide receiver since we've returned to Madden has got over 100. Gonna be passing this one and it's gonna be caught. There goes Angelo Roman inside the 20. And Aaron Nike is yet to throw an incompletion. Just like I said earlier, wheeling and dealing. Y'all have a fast food drink called Cookout in Florida. It sounds familiar, but I don't think I've had it. I could look it up real quick. I'm going to be passing this one up. There goes Roman again down to the 11. Um, there's one called Cookout, but I think the closest one um, is in North Carolina. Yeah, that's probably the one you're talking about. Yeah. But man, their hush puppies and milkshakes are next level. I mean, I do go to North Carolina, so. My brother lives there, so I don't mind taking a quick trip. You know what I'm saying? Hand off. There goes Watson looking for a touchdown and down to the one. First and goal coming up here for New York. I'll just Carolina for the week. Um, Lumberton. That's what it's saying here. Apparently, there's one in Elizabeth City. Um. Going to be passing this and throws an interception. <laughs> Jawani Sims, the linebacker, getting up in there. And New York once again held scoreless. Tampa Bay trying to keep themselves in the game. And the defense is doing their job here tonight. Two turnovers in the first half. Quick pitch left side. And there goes the dot. There goes Coco. Fresh off the INT. And that's going to be a touchdown. Wow. 
Two plays is all it takes in Tampa Bay's in the lead. And that is how you flip the game in your favor in less than three plays. Kick is going to be up and good. And that's the second time this game where New York has gotten close and turned the ball over. So they're going to need to wind it down a little bit, see if they can potentially get into the fold. Wow, that's tragic. How's the closest one to me? Not even is it's not even in Florida. It's near Valdosta, Georgia, and that's like right on the line. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Seven to three is your score. Gonna be returned by Watson past the twenty-five to the twenty-seven, and it's gonna be first and ten. But yeah, it's all over the it's all over the southern coast right there. All in the Carolinas. Y'all went everywhere but Florida. What's wrong with Florida, man? But I'll definitely check it out, especially if I go to like the Georgia, North Carolina area. I'll definitely stop by and see what's happening. First and ten coming. Aldrezi in motion. And they're gonna hand it off immediately. Past the 30. Gonna pick up four on the play. Yeah, it looks like that's the only areas that's in. Maybe they might have some in Columbia. Let's go to Columbia. Nope. I'm in Columbia. Sad. I do like their website on my phone. Like they got a big old image of the map <laughs> of the globe and you can like spin around that jump. But are gonna pass it again, looking left side and caught, rumbling forward. Might be a little short. Is Johnny Bravo? Yes, he is. Third and inch is coming. I went to college in North Carolina. I used to get it all the time. I feel it. I'm assuming it's like a more soul foody type of restaurant. Got the ribs and um, let's see the menu. Going to be caught. There goes Johnny Bravo skying for that one. That was a nice catch. I ain't going to lie to you. First and 10 coming up. Big double burger. Oh, that sounds good. Bacon wrap, cheese bites, chicken nugs, huge tea, <laughs> homemade char uh, char grilled hamburgers. You love to see it. As we're gonna see another handoff cutting against the grain, a spin move, trying to push forward, and there goes up again past fifty yards, rushing, and they're right inside the forty again. Don't y'all miss um, when? Burger King actually, you know, grilled their burgers and stuff like that. Don't y'all miss that? When Burger King was actually Burger King. Hand off, pushing forward, and he's going to get stuck there by Sims getting to the 35 yard line. It's going to be second and seven coming up. Passing it here, middle of the field, and gonna be caught inside the 25. There goes Calvin Nakua coming through with the catch. Down to the 22 yard line. New York's been in this situation two times already. Lost the football, so they're trying to get right. It's gonna be first and 10 coming up. I guess the good news is for New York is outside of the big play they allowed. Tampa Bay hasn't done too much at this point. Still got plenty of time as that is going to be a good play defensively. Juwani Simps. Look at the man make plays. The rookie doing his thing. He says, hey, 
I want to be in the race there for defensive rookie of the year. That's how it's going to happen. More tackles for loss, more interceptions, pass deflections, tackles. That's how I do it. That's my road to success. Going to be passing it again. Going to go short. Going to be caught. Get into the 21. There's Watson. Going to set up third and nine. That actually does, does sound pretty good, though. The crispy, spicy chicken breast filet. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. That sounds bomb. Gonna be passing it again, looking for a man. Taking off to run, throwing left side. It's gonna be caught, but he's going the wrong way. And that's more than likely gonna set up a field goal attempt here for New York. Fourth and four coming up. Gonna be party party again. Looking for the field goal. Kick is gonna be up and it will be good. So the New York offense gets their team a little bit closer. Now they're down one point here in the second. Gonna send this one away deep in the end zone. Gonna be sent down to the 25 yard line. It's gonna be first and 10 Tampa Bay. They got two timeouts. They got 55 seconds. Definitely doable to potentially get a field goal if they play the cards right. Or maybe they could catch the New York defense slipping one more time, get another one of those bombs down the field. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Josh Hess guarding up on Kai Coco. It looks like they're going to make a quick adjustment on defense. This is going to work out. We'll see. Going to look left side. And even with the miss up, they're going to throw it away. It's Tampa. Gonna pass this one middle of the field. Gonna be caught down to the 32 yard line. We'll see if Tampa Bay keeps their offense rolling. Oh yeah, I was meaning to respond uh, to that, but yeah, it looks it looks dope though, bro. Like I love it. You could take the logo off. Well, let's kind of throw it off. Either that or make it smaller. You could have a smaller closer to the belt to the right or the left. I think that would be pretty cool, but I think it's a little too big. It's doing too much. Looking left side and caught. Turning for the first down. Gonna get it. And Tampa Bay has one more timeout, so I'd assume they have to they have to call it pretty soon. Yeah, I wanted to go wanted to wrap around type, but I couldn't get it to go all the way around. Yeah. Better to keep it short and simple. I mean uh smaller and simple. Fourteen seconds and they're gonna go ahead and hike this football. Looking short is gonna be caught taking that to about midfield and called the timeout there.
But yeah, outside of that, though, it looks legit, bro. I, I love it. Like, if you started a YouTube channel and you started, like, going over to plays, like, yeah, that'll make me watch. I could get behind that. I might do something for Madden 25. I'm not sure yet. Gonna be passing here looking for man and he's gonna go ahead and launch it to the end zone got some coverage off the tip and going out of bounds and complete and that is how quarter number two is going to end a fun defensive battle three turnovers only a handful of scores between the two teams two field goals for new york one touchdown fresh off of interception there by tampa bay and we're going to go ahead and see how this third quarter winds up as we're going to see a juke by Rashad Watson and he's going to take it to the 24. First and 10 coming here for New York looking to get the lead back. You have to score a touchdown so far in this ball game but got to give Tampa Bay credit they're holding their own but New York is still in the game so we'll see how it turns out. I formation Nakua and the big homie Al Drezzi there at the top of the formation. As you can see, a handoff, and it's going to be a big hold there. Rumble forward gets past the 30, and it's going to be second and one coming. I think the only thing that is missing in franchise for Madden is they need to make it more of a sandbox type of environment and that is going to be almost picked off there by Chris Davis. Like, while well, saying with like the sandbox, like you can see like with at least with college football 25, like you're able to move teams around, you're able to do those small things that make a difference 2k does it the best me personally with their um with their uh more franchisey type of mode is that pass is going to be caught there by nicole like you could like create teams you create jerseys you can the courts and everything and you don't have to stick with the 30 teams in the nba if you want them to be i think you could have up to like 40 teams or something like that i forgot but you can completely customize the the format of the league, the rules of the league, and every damn thing. So it's pretty sweet, if I do say so myself, as we're going to see a handoff stretch to the left side and going nowhere. It's going to be second and 12. Got the new Madden coming out. Got the new 2K coming out. Gonna be a handoff here, stretching this one, cutting around, making the man miss. Gonna get those yards back. And off Jacobson is over 70 yards, rushing my boy Mike Jack up in here. What's happening, big homie? Hope all's well with you. Where the chicken at? Gotta let me know. Shotgun said, passing it again, looking for a man. Standing tall in the pocket, then launches it right side. And there's a wide open now, Drezzy. That was set up by the big homie. Home is on the old line, making it happen. It's first and 10 coming. Also, we got to shut that shout out to Dan. Um, hey, hey, where's the USFA by Ben, man? Oh, yeah, he's, he's in. You're already in. It's 12 people up in the giveaway. You're all good to go. Looking left side is caught. There goes Nakua inside the 20 down to the 15. And first and 10 again here for New York. Um, <laughs> also, we got shout out today, so I'm feeling great. Yeah, that was a real good game. There for Detroit going up against Tacoma. Tacoma's on a little bit of a skid right here. We'll see if they're able to bounce back. As that should put uh, Detroit back in the number three seed with them losing. I 
because right now it's Huntington Beach, Anchorage, and I think Detroit. And we still got to see Dallas, who's going to play, uh, who's going to play Huntington Beach. And it was a close game up until it started glitching and stuff. So we'll see what's going to happen. Is that's going to be Angelo Roman reaching for a first down? I think he got it. Yes, he did. Down to the five yard line once again. Is this where the Mafia starts to turn it around? And did they learn from their mistakes? Rashad Watson there in the backfield, bunch at the top. And he's going to pass it again, trying to stay away from his transgressions. He's going to take off to run. He said, stop throwing the football, me. I got to do this. I put the team on my back, though. Touchdown, Mafia. Hitting his dance right there. I don't know. I don't know what kind of dance is that, Aaron. Like, I see you in the chat. You got to let me know what that is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, big homie. But they're going to try the two-point conversion. Hey, watch your mouth when you're talking to yourself. Hand off, pushing forward, and New York's going to get that two-point conversion. So it's going to make it 14 to 7. Great job there for Watson. I don't know what that was. He he was hitting the he was hitting the jig right there like he had the robot for a little bit. Then it got started up by his teammates like, ah, 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 ah. like he like he was Dave Chappelle or something. I don't know what that was. But regardless of that, New York is going to be up top seven points. And now Tampa Bay's offense is going to have to show that they're able to match that. Sending this one away. And it's going to be kneeled down. First and 10 coming up. Tampa Bay coming onto the field. Looking to get something crazy going. And I'm off tomorrow. So after this game and after I um, record the game that will be on tomorrow. I'm going to put in the stats for these three games today as we're going to see almost uh, offsides there, but it's not going to count. Just going to be a game of three there. Um, looks like Blake Grant with another catch on the game. He's going to set up second and seven. Gonna be handing this one off, pushing forward and finding a big hole as Banks and he's gonna use his speed to the 30. Looking to get chased down, he's trying to get away, but Groshay's gonna bring him in inside the 10. And Tampa Bay says, stop playing with us. We got stuff to do as well. We trying to get in the playoffs too, man. Stop trying to be selfish. First and goal, Tampa. What a carry there by the rookie. And now they're right on pace to get this lead. Well, get the game tied up, potentially looking for a man taking off the run, running out of time. There goes the ringer, ringing the bell of quarterback James West. Second and goal coming. Great job there. Second and goal coming up here. Passing it quickly. Left side is going to be caught. Xavier Hawkins making the catch there. I think it's first of the game. Third and goal coming up. And New York has a chance to hold him to three. Gonna be a handoff trying to catch him off guard, but the defense of New York wasn't playing games. And that's gonna make it fourth and goal.
It looks like they are going to settle for the field goal here. Don't blame them. Take your points when you can. It's going to be kick up and it's going to be kick good there for Tampa. Barely went through, but it went through. That's the most important thing. 14 to 10 is your score. We got ourselves a good one tonight. Sending this one away. Going to be returned here, taking the pass to 20. And going to get rumbled down there by a couple of Typhoon. There's Rashad Watson down to the 22 yard line. First and 10 Mafia. slew of receivers there at the bottom of the formation and it's going to be passing it here looking for a man running into a defensive player bad omens and that could have been really bad there for Aaron Ike but it's going to be second and 10 coming up Shotgun set. Passing it again. Looking for a man. Gonna take off to run and gonna get sacked this time. It's gonna be Demon Jones. Coming through from the edge. And now it's third and 12 coming up here for New York. The pass rushes. Trying to get home there. Starting to turn up a little bit here in the second half. Aaron Eck trying to keep it moving. Passing it again, taking off, throws it short and almost throws another pick. And the defense of Tampa Bay slows them down. They're going to get this ball right back. And here comes Potty Potty. Looking to send this boot down the field. And send this one away. And he's got a lot of leg getting it to the 26 and great coverage there from Gunny McGuire. And it's going to be first and 10 at the 31. Probably flip the field as good as you could do it on that side. Can't be too mad at that. Going to be passing it, looking left side and over the head of Xavier Hawkins. It's going to be second and 10 coming up. Three minutes and one second left in the third quarter. Tampa Bay has plenty of time to get into this one. As we got ourselves a close ball game here. Going to be passing this one, looking to launch a left side. Is going to be caught, turn it up, trying to get the first down. He's going to be close, might be third and inches. Nope, they're going to call it the first. Good job there from Jason Banks. And it's first and 10 coming up. Going to be passing here, middle of the field, and caught and tackled immediately there by Tommy Guns, making it happen. Second and six. Going 
going to be handing this one off to Banks, who's going to get a short gain there. Third and five coming. Shotgun set, passing it again, looking to launch it, and almost throws the pick there to C.A. Jr. Jr. Couldn't quite hang on, but the defense does do its job here, and they're going to give their offense another chance late in the third. Sending this one away, looking for a pin. And it looks like it is going to be inside the 10, down to the six yard line. New York with the long field ahead of them. First and 10, Mafia. Delayed handoff, blocking solid, getting them to the 10 yard line. They're going to say the 11. Wolf Jacobson trying to turn up a little bit. Second and medium coming. Passing it quickly, going to be caught. Turn it up with that speed. There goes out Drezzi down to the 30-yard line. And that's how he was able to amass so many yards this season. Those small routes turn him into big routes. He's over 100 yards receiving tonight. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Passing it, looking for a man launching the right side and deflected. Jawani Sims wanted himself another one, but he couldn't quite hang on to it. Tried to one hand a snag. Second and 10 coming. Passing it again, looking right side. Punched out of the hands of Roman. As that completion percentage starting to work its way down just a little bit there for Aaron Eck, but we'll go ahead and take it into the fourth quarter. 34 is up. Got ourselves a close game here, passing it again, stepping back a little bit, launching it short, and that's not going to get the job done in regards to getting the first down. Wolf Jacobson did secure the catch, but only picked up two when they needed 10, and Tampa Bay is going to get that ball back. Sending this one away inside the 15, a juke move there by, there by Blake Grant making it happen. First and 10 coming up here for Tampa Bay. First and 10 coming. Passing it is going to be caught. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Shotgun passing it again, looking for a man, stepping up, getting a, avoiding the sack, trying to get the football back for New York was Ringer, but he's going to tackle him short of the first down mark. I thought he was going to strip it. Third and inches coming. And I'll go ahead and start the giveaway. I didn't start it, but uh, let me go ahead and get that spin going.
burning inches coming up. Looking for a man to throw it to. Throws it short and it's going to be caught. Action, that ain't too short. That's pretty down. That's a little down the field. I ain't mad at you. Blake Grant with another catch on the game. First and 10 coming up here for Tampa. And it looks like the prize of the evening will be 10 TPE. And it looks like it's going to stay in New York as wide receiver Calvin Nakua will be the victor of the giveaway. Good job there. Making it happen. Throwing the left side is going to be caught again by Grant, who's going to take it out of bounds. It's going to be second and six coming up. Empty set. Going to pass it again. Looking for a man. Middle of the field and caught. Third down coming up. They win a lot because they're in a lot of giveaways. <laughs> so. But that's what you're supposed to do. They're supposed to encourage your guys to make it. You know what I'm saying? Passing the right side and going to be caught. Rumble forward past the 40. And it's going to be first and 10 coming up. Passing the short left side and caught, turn it up, drag down to 35, second and six coming up. Gonna be passing it again. Looking for a man. Deep drop back. Short caught. Rumbling forward. And there goes the big homie Hawkins pushing through two defenders to make it happen. It's gonna be first and ten coming up. Quick pitch right side and going to be almost picked off Chance Ravager. Couldn't hang on to that one. Should have been a pick. Couldn't hang on to that one. That was dead to right to interception. But New York trying to hold on here. Down at the 27 yard line. Second and 10 and New York's going to swat. Out a few players switching up the play a little bit, getting chased down, throws it without looking, and that's going to be incomplete. That's going to set up third and 10 coming up. Third and 10 coming, passing it again, looking for a man protections, breaking down and run straight into a sack. There goes the veteran making it happen. Dexter Jackson is going to be fourth and 16 coming up. They're going to try the long field goal here. It is against the wind, so we'll see if they got the power kick is up. It looks pretty good to me. And that was actually right down the middle. And New York will hold on to a one-point lead thanks to their defense coming to play. Got to keep on getting better, my man. Getting those giveaways. 
all the good stuff. Getting to keep on getting in the giveaways. Keep on um, if you haven't subbed to the league, keep on doing that. Oh yeah, he, he does do that. Yeah, you wouldn't let me stop. You wouldn't let me uh let me breathe when I talk good about Von Carlton. Shout out to Von Carlton. Yeah, only one giveaway tonight. There's gonna be one tomorrow on the sec on the first game of the triple header, and then there's gonna be two for the last one, which will be Huntington Beach in Dallas. So make sure you watch out for that. Going to quick pitch this one. Looking with the wide receiver screen. Turn it up with the speed is Johnny Bravo, but don't think it's going to matter. John Aldrezzi backing them up. Going to make it first and 19. Dude, I tried to sub. I don't know how many times. Every time I go to do it, it just refreshes the page and won't let me continue. Yeah. Still working out some kinks with that. Going to be passing it here again. Going to launch this short right side and caught. Turn it up. Getting back to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and 10. Yeah, get with Caboose. You should be subbed already, didn't you? I wish I had some people to help me out with my potential proposal with these accessories and stuff. Cause I want to start bringing brands into this stuff and like brand owners, you know what I'm saying? Quick pitch left side and caught. There goes Roman down to the 45 again, a 20. And there's going to be first and 10 again there for New York. And honestly, they could keep on getting first downs and they could win the game fairly easily working that clock down. They don't need to score per se, but you get what I'm saying? Because they're in the lead, but it is what it is. First and 10 coming up. Going to be a handoff cutting against the grain, pushing forward, picking up one, maybe. 13 carries, 76 yards. Actually, you lost one on the play. Going to be a big drop there for Ike. Looking for a man to throw to. And he's just going to decide to throw this one away. Nothing doing. Third and 11 coming up here for New York. Passing it, looking to throw it short. It's going to be caught getting the midfield. Going to make it fourth and two. And I think the best move might be to punt it. But they got to keep their foot on the pedal defensively if that's the case. Yeah. Sending this one away and it barely misses the line where it could have bounced uh, within the field of play. But a great attempt is going to be first and 10 coming up at the 20. Tampa Bay is going to have to find a way to get down the field and they could win with the field goal. If we're being honest with each other, New York, they got to play some good defense. Got ourselves a real good game here. James West looking for a comeback victory. And looking for a pass here, launching this one middle of the field and caught. That's a great start there for Tampa, getting past the 30. And that's going to be first and 10 coming.
Gonna pass it again, looking for a man, quick pitch and caught, turn it up, first down play again, downside the 45 to the 46. And there goes the two minute warning. As Tampa Bay starting to turn up a little bit. Charlotte and Pittsburgh rooting for New York in this ball game. First and 10 coming up. Going to be passing it again. Looking for a man. Throws it short right side and turning up. It's going to be caught. Has the perfect pass there from West. Puts him at the 39 yard line and they're just working the ball down the field. And you see right there. They've had an Elijah Enigma there on a linebacker after the change. So. Got to make sure your players are set in the right areas. Because that is definitely a mismatch for sure. Going to be passing it again. New York trying to get to the backfield. Turning up and taking off to run. Going to juke up and pick up the first down potentially. Going to be second and inches coming. Is not looking pretty here for New York. Down to the 29-yard line is Tampa. As Tampa Bay is playing themselves a pretty good ball game for what it's worth. Less than 90 seconds left in the ball game. And they're going to go ahead and hand it off. First down play. Easy money. New York's calling the timeout. And this is bad news here for New York. Was there inside the 25. And uh, short gain there, maybe one yard. And it's going to be second and nine coming up here. Pistol formation. Jason Banks there with them. They're going to send Travis Vaughn in motion. They're going to go ahead and hand it off. And C.A. Jr. Jr. is going to make the tackle along with number 48, uh, Javad Storm. Third and seven coming up. Tampa Bay. They're working the clock in their favor down to the 21-yard line. And at this point, New York is hoping for a missed field goal. Going to be passing it here. Looking middle of the field, and he's going to almost pick it off. And Gunny McGuire, who already has an interception for a touchdown on the season, could not hang on to the bullet. And that's going to allow Tampa Bay to kick a field goal here. Technically, New York still has a chance because the clock stopped. So I guess that worked out in their favor, but the kick is up. And he's going to shake it to the left. New York holds on to the lead. And that was no. <laughs> Tampa Bay is sick after that. Wow. Couldn't have done it any better. And getting down the field and Tampa Bay shanked the easy one. I think the wind picked that one and took that to the left me personally. Is they're going to give it to Ulf, who's going to rumble forward past the 30. And now Tampa Bay is going to start calling their timeouts. He said, that's karma for the fumble last game. I felt that, yeah. Damn, that's crazy, too. A missed field goal away from <laughs> a missed field goal um, away from Going uh, zero and two. I mean, going two and zero against a team as good as New York. That's crazy. As they're going to try the ground game, looking for some blocks is off. And I think he got the first down himself. And that might have been GGs on that one, folks. That's just ridiculous. Wow.
good game to Tampa Bay for sure. Just could not hit on those special teams right there. Unfortunate. But got to give credit where credit is due on that. And we'll go ahead and transition into the final portion of the ball game here. The kneel downs are going to start. And we're going to go into tomorrow's triple header pretty soon. Starting with Pittsburgh and Charlotte. So the winner of this game, now that Tampa Bay lost, will move into the number three seed in the Eastern Conference. So don't go anywhere. That's going to be a fun matchup for sure. Um, going into the second game tomorrow, Anchorage, they're looking to stay in the second place going into the set so make sure you watch out for that one st louis they're trying to take down the anchorage snow devils we'll see that on youtube and then we'll close out the week in style western conference action huntington beach and dallas was a fun game last time we seen them had some glitches there so hopefully nothing crazy happens in this one uh the games might be coming a little bit earlier so make sure you watch out for that because i do have a day off uh so We'll go ahead and get that rolling. I have a little things to do um, within the afternoon, but I'll get them out as quick and as timely as I can for you all. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody in the chat. We're going to go ahead and get into the statistics here. A great game all the way around a defensive battle here. 14 to 13 is your score. New York taking the W. They're going to move to seven and one on the season. And I believe with two or three more W's, New York will secure their playoff spot, so make sure you keep it up. Tampa Bay still has some fighting to do. Looking into the, the let's see the third third down, so like you see right there, pretty even on both sides. But there was one discrepancy that I was trying to find here. Turnovers, obviously, uh, New York had two, but they still won the battle. And there was one thing I was trying to find here. Um, was it red zone? Yeah, the red zone coverage. So uh, New York had plenty of opportunities. CC two for four. Threw two interceptions, well, fumbled one and one interception. Uh, could have honestly been more in their favor, but got to make sure you take care of the ball in the red zone. Um, looking at the passing, though, Aaron Nike, 27 for 34, doing his thing. 79% uh, completion percentage, over 300 yards. He did throw an interception, but overall, a pretty uh, strong game from him outside of the INT. Um, James West, 24 for 35, 230, sorry, 259. One touchdown, one interception, and he did have that 80 yarder there to Kai Coco earlier in the game. Uh, Ulf Jacobson, 15 for 87, almost six yards a carry. Jason Banks averaging almost 10 yards a carry on 10 carries, uh, 99 yards total. Um, Aaron Ike, three for three and a touchdown, a big touchdown there carrying it. Um, Rashad Watson, two for nine, and James West, two for 15. Aaron Ike did fumble the football, but the longest carry goes to West, sorry, I'm calling West to Banks there for a 65 yarder that set up a touchdown or set up a field goal. I'm sorry. Um, looking at the receiving set, we'll start with New York. John Eldrezzi doing his thing. Seven catches, 108 yards. Uh, Calvin Akua, six for 74. Angelo Roman, five for 60. Rashad Watson, four for 22. Johnny Bravo, two for 19. Juice Parrish, two for 18. And Ulf Jacobson, one for two. Drop wise, Angelo Roman had one, and the longest catch goes to Aldrezzi there for a 21 yarder. Roman had a 20 yarder as well, so make sure you watch out for that. Um, receiving wise, here for Tampa, uh, Jason Banks led the way, eight catches, 61 yards. Xavier Hawkins, six for 43. Blake Grant, five for 45. Elijah Nigma, three for 30. Kai Coco, two for 80 and a touchdown. Slow game outside of the touchdown, if we're being honest. Uh, Elijah Nigma and Blake Grant each with a drop. And, of course, the longest catch of the game goes to Coco for 80-yarder. Um, Defensive-wise, we'll start with Tampa. Bill Whitman led the way with 14 tackles there from the cornerback position. Looking pretty nice rookie. Another rookie doing his thing. Jawani Sims with 10 tackles. Uh, Javon Highland. Another 10 tackles set for him, number nine, doing his thing. Shallow Marino with seven. Chris Davis and Loki Gunderson gets five. Bruno Davis gets three, along with Ian Gish, Demon Jones. Tony D'Alfonso and Travis Vaughn get two tackles. Justin Banks, DJ Boone, Maddie Tillman, Bad Omens each get a tackle. And then Evanescence, I believe he had a pass deflection. So make sure you watch out for that. 
either a pass deflection or a fumble recovery. I'm pretty sure it's a fumble recovery. Um, Chris Davis, Ian Gish, and Javon Highland each had two tackles for loss. Jawani Sims and Bad Omens each had one. Sack wise, Demon Jones and Javon Highland each had a sack. Um, looks like Jawani Sims with that interception that was sweet in the end zone. And he also had two pass deflections doing his thing. Uh, Chris Davis also had one. Uh, looks like a bot forced to fumble. And then Evanescence recovered it for two yards. And that's all the defensive stats here. On the other side, the leading tackler will be C.A. Jr. Jr. doing his thing with nine. One shot to ten mark, but it's all good. Gunny McGuire gets seven. Danny Ringer and Tommy Guns get five. Javad Storm gets four. Ry Hoglaw and Buster McNutt get three along with Josh Hess. Dexter Jackson and Brendan Gauthier and Chance Ravager get two tackles. Ricardo Lopez, Grady Wilson gets one tackle. Rose O'Neal, I believe he has a pass deflection. No tackles for loss here. Uh, Dexter Jackson, Grady Wilson, and Danny Ringer each having a sack tonight. Great job. Josh Hess with the interception early in the first half. Returned it for one yard, nothing crazy, but still an interception. Got to give it to him. Uh, Chance Ravager with two pass deflections. C.A. Jr. Jr., Josh Hess, Gunny McGuire, Tommy Guns, Rose O'Neal, and Grady Wilson, each with at least one pass deflection. Great job there. A lot of great job in the secondary side of things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Potty Potty was perfect in the wind. He's going to knock through six points as long as the 41 yards. Uh, Felix de la Chon missed one field goal. And honestly, it was the game winning one. Couldn't have do it. Couldn't have set him up any better than that outside of potentially getting closer inside of the five. But those are gimmies. Got to make those. Um, they're going to be looking at this one as a game that, you know, they're going to be thinking that they should have won. So. Uh, Felix, he did pretty decent in the punting side of things. Over 46 yards on three punts. Potty Potty averaged 52 on three punts. And so I had to give the W there to Potty Potty on that one. Uh, kick return wise, only one player did it. Um, it looks like Rashad Watson averaging 23 and some change there on four returns. On the punt return side of things, Rashad Watson one for 13. Blake Grant two for 10. And going into the scoring summary really fast, the first quarter was scoreless. Second quarter, that's where it started picking it up a little bit. Potty Potty gets the first points of the day with a field goal. And then midway, or a little bit past midway through the second quarter, Kai Coco, he got the touchdown after the interception. Uh, Potty Potty gets a field goal right before the end of the first half, 33 yards out. Uh, going into the second half, uh, looks like Aaron Nike took the lead with his five-yard touchdown run midway through the third, and he also got the two-point conversion. Felix de la Chon got a field goal to try to match that, and then going into the fourth quarter, Felix knocked through a 50-yard field goal and then misses the field goal under 30 yards, which is really unfortunate there for them. But that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. You got to go ahead and do what you need to do as we're going to go ahead and set up for the triple header coming up tomorrow. So make sure you watch out for that uh, Pittsburgh and Charlotte on Twitch. Then we'll have Anchorage and St. Louis on YouTube. And then we'll close out the week Huntington Beach at Dallas. So don't go anywhere. Games keep rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for this set up here and get some chicken why not ah